Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Julius D. Berry with Majestic Studios, and this is a video that is completely out of the norm for me, uh, but uh, I use this app daily to edit my YouTube videos, and um, when I first started editing videos, I was looking for information like this, and I couldn't find any help with it. Um, there was no apps that made this easy. Um, I own an ATEM Mini ISO, uh, that allows me to record four cameras at a time and keep all audio and video in sync. It does four cameras and two microphone inputs. It keeps all cameras audio in sync, all, um, and then the microphones audio in sync, and it keeps the cameras in sync with each other at all times. Um, but the hard part is pulling that footage from uh, my hard drive and then putting it into a computer or my iPad and then being able to multicam edit. That footage um, like I said uh, I use LumaFusion uh, religiously like every single day and they are supposed to be coming out with an update that allows it it's gonna be a paid update I believe um, but I couldn't wait and I figured out a way to do it um, on my own uh, you can also do it in Final Cut and I'm sure you can do it in uh, Premiere as well but like I said um, it's just not really um, feasible for me to go those options. I do a lot of my editing on the iPad, so I wanted to figure out a way to do it on here, and I really figured it out, and it's been working well for me lately. And I just wanted to share with you guys, um, if you guys still wanna take the paid route once LumaFusion comes out with their update, that's great. I'm sure I will too, uh, but this is a very, very feasible, efficient, and effective way to multicam edit in LumaFusion on the iPad for free. So I'm not gonna do any more talking um, about the intro. I'm just gonna show you guys how to do this. Um, First, you're going to open a open LumaFusion and you're going to create a new project. I'm going to name the project um, and I'm trying to get this done as fast as I can. I think this was a great idea and I just wanted to get a video done really fast for you guys. Um, so you create a new project. I'm going to name mine Multicam. I mean, Multicam Edit. All right. And create the project. OK. And because I don't have like four cameras worth of footage that I, you know, that I want to put in here, just raw footage. I'm going to use Storyblocks uh, just to pull up footage, um, just to show you guys how this works. Um, so when you pull up your footage, I'm going to find um, some videos that are about a minute long uh, or so, just to to show you guys how this example works. Okay, um, the key to this though, or one thing that you have to remember, um, you're going to want to add these the footage, but you're going to not want to add it to the main timeline. You're going to want to put it on one of the timelines above. Um, and so in order to do that, you create a blank clip. And I think the default time for the blank clips are two seconds, um, but I'm going to drag mine all the way out to about a minute. Oh, there's, there's two minutes there. So um, that's fine. All right. And so once you have this blank clip, it'll let you then, it'll, it'll let you add clips to the um, upper timelines. So I'm going to add that one. Let's see, I'm find another one that's about a minute long. There's one. Okay, so what you want to do to make sure um, that a mistake doesn't happen is you want to lock this main timeline. So then that was a mistake I did when I tried to do this video the first time. Um, I'm going to clear this and make it where I have more room to, to work. Um, you lock this main timeline. And when you take this next step, it'll it'll help you because um, you don't end up making the adjustments or the edits um, to that blank clip. And that will mess you up down the road. Um, so what you want to do or what I normally do is these four clips that I've added, I am going to position these things on the screen. See, that's what makes multicam editing. That's what makes multicam editing so great is being able to see all of the cameras on the screen at one time and being able to pick and choose and pull footage from whichever one of those cameras you want at any specific time. So what I'm going to do is or what I figured out, um, I'm going to make this first time on when it says Arizona. That's going to be um, my first camera. Sh my first camera. The Williams is going to be the second camera. The Bally is going to be the third camera. And then the child play is going to be the fourth camera. So what I do, I click on the, the fourth one or the first one, whichever way you want to go. You just have to remember which one you do because the order it's kept in makes it easier. So I go to the child's play one. That's my fourth one. I'm going to put the fourth video in the bottom right, the third video in the bottom left, the second video in the top right, and the first video in the top left. Okay, so we clicked on 
the fourth one. So this one's going to go bottom right. So you ask, how am I going to do that? Well, if you go to the these little options down here, these tabs at the bottom, this one called um, frame and fit. If you choose bottom right picture in picture, it's going to automatically position it on the screen for you. Okay. So then you go to the third one and you're going to pick this one. You're going to put this one in the bottom left. And they're there. You can't see them right now because the other clips are on top of them. That's why you can't see it. Um, so then you go to Williams and you're going to make that. That's your second one. So you're going to go which way? What did I say? Top right picture in picture. And then the fourth one or the first one is the Arizona. We're going to click that one and that one is going to go in the top left. So after I push this, you should be able to see all four clips on the screen at the same time. Yep. And like I said, that's what makes multicam editing so dope is because now I can see all the cameras that I recorded. Everything's in sync. Now, remember, these is this is just Storyblocks footage. This is not actual footage from my cameras. So, of course, this is not in sync, but you get the point of what I'm trying to do here. So what how you make this really dope is now you can unlock this main timeline. OK, so what you want to do is you know when you move in clips into the main timeline it always asks you that question do you want to keep the timeline duration uh of the you want to keep the clip in the timeline duration for the place you're adding it to on the main timeline or do you want the clip to keep its actual duration and you could choose which one you like um, i'm gonna show you which one i like and why so let's just say that i want to take this first one in the top left the picture of the mountains in arizona and i'm like okay that's as much as i want right there so what i what i do is i click this multi select tool and i click that clip and i click the blank clip okay and i make a cut and what it's going to do is going to cut them at the exact same place see that now i deselect the multi-tool and now i can just click that piece of that clip and add it into my timeline on top of this clip and because they're the same size it may not ask me that question but it might so let's see nope it didn't because they're the same so now i know i have that there you can see it in the background it's full screen so that one's going to be there okay we're going to go to the end of that clip and let's say now i want to put this williamsburg brooklyn one in there so i'm going to click that and i'm going to let's say i want to find the piece of it that i want okay so that's the one the building so we're looking at the top right for the okay i want to get it once it gets way out zoomed out like that so i'm going to push click i'm going to click to cut it and then i'm going to find where i want the clip to end let's go right there okay so now when you add it into the main timeline it's going to ask you a question now it's going to say nope that's not what we want so we're going to push cancel and replace so what i should have done just showing you guys how errors can be made you want to keep your clip your blank clip and the clip you're adding about the same amount of space and i'm going to show you what happens when they're not the same amount of space we saw when they were the same amount of space it doesn't even ask you the question so we wanted to ask us the question so we're going to make sure our clip is about where we want it to be as far as the ending you can use these um fast forward and rewind buttons to jump between your cuts within your um within your timelines you click now you click the blank one and you make a cut saying okay this is where i want the cut to be so now if you look this blank one is 17 seconds long and this one that i cut up here is 13 seconds so when i add it it's going to ask me do you want to keep the clip in its original form as far as the time or do you want to make it the amount of time that's on the timeline watch when i drag it down here make it turn red replace clip you can replace this clip and keep the same duration in the timeline or use the duration of the new clip so i'm going to show you what happens both directions we're going to keep the timeline duration because that's the amount of time that I I'm, I usually use my timeline as the amount of space or how I have my stuff lined up, my clips. Um, but I do that because sometimes I line up to music. So I, I arrange it on the timeline, the main timeline, and then I just bring the clips in to match. But you can do it the opposite way where you can create your clips and get the right footage or the right amount or duration of footage you want and then add it into the timeline and have the timeline adjust based on that. So I'm gonna do it both ways. We're gonna put keep timeline duration. And so what it did was it made my clip, even though I wanted it to stop at a certain point, it made my clip a little longer so it would fit within the parameters of the space that was on the main timeline. So in this next one, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you what'll happen if we pick it 
that we want to uh, let the clip keep its original time. All right, so let's say I'm gonna cut right here this time. So this clip is 21 seconds, so I'm gonna make one shorter than that up here. So let's go about there. Now we're looking at the Bali. So let's cut that one at that spot. It's random, you know, I'm just doing this for example purposes. And we're gonna go up about, see that's a 21 second clip right here. So we're gonna go, um, we're gonna make this be about a seven seconds. So 17 to 24 would be seven seconds. So we're gonna cut that right there. Now when I add it, I only want it to be a seven second clip like it is right here, cause that's the exact footage that I want for this area. Turned red, that let us know that it was gonna add it keep timeline duration or use new clip duration. If I keep timeline, it's gonna be 21 seconds because that's how much space we have specified in the timeline. But if we use new clip duration, it's gonna use the duration of the clip itself. I'm gonna pick new clip duration and it's going to make a seven second clip and adjust it the timeline to match, okay? All right, and now let's just do one more just for the sake of this example. Let's see where we want this mom and this kid, let's see. Let's get right here where he starts talking to her. All right, so we're gonna cut right there. And we're gonna keep that one all the way to the end, okay? So if we add this down here now, it's gonna ask us the question, replace clip and ripple timeline. It, that means it's gonna replace the clip and took the rest of the timeline down to match, okay? We don't want to do that. That was just, I was just wanted to show you guys what would happen if you did select that. Um, but we're going to, we want the timeline to keep, to stay. We don't want to erase this duration down. We want to keep it out there. So I'm just going to make, cut another clip. Let's see, look, if we cut it here, it's 27 seconds. So we're going to drag this in here and we're going to put, um, no, what? I guess because it's longer, let's see. Let's go, let's go back and make it shorter. There it is. We're gonna use new clip duration or keep timeline duration. We're gonna use new clip duration. All right, and you see it just adjusted it to match. Now, but you may ask yourself, why in the world is it showing all these? Um, whoops, because we use the rest of the clip the mother's one disappeared. So I'm, I'm not gonna use the whole mother one because I don't want the the clip to disappear from up here inside the uh, this viewfinder, okay? So we're gonna cut that there and now we're gonna add it. Keep timeline duration, use new clip duration. All right, you see it just extended the main timeline out a little bit longer to create the amount of time I needed for the clip I just added. So now as you see, it's got, if you look in the background, every clip that we added, and see that, they're all there, okay. But you're like, I don't want these four screens on the on here when I'm, I'm done editing my video, I wanna export, everything's in place where it needs to be, the music is right, everything's in sync, what do I do next? So to get all this stuff off of here, all you do is do the multi-select tool, select it all, and then delete it. Now all you have left is your main timeline, your music will be down here, and look at this. Your footage just goes in time just like it's supposed to. I'll fast forward to this. It changes over, and you can add your transitions or whatnot. So this was just a very quick uh, tutorial. Um, I may be able to do a more detailed one if there are questions, but I think everyone will get the gist. The main thing that you need to know is using the picture in picture. Uh, I'll show you how to get to that again. If you click a clip and then go into the edit part of the clip, let's see. You're going to use the frame and fit option down here at the bottom left corner, and you're going to select for your, uh, First camera, or however you want to arrange it, I, I have my setup in one, two, three, four. One is the top left picture in picture. The second camera is the top right picture in picture. The third camera is the bottom left picture in picture. And the fourth camera is the bottom right picture in picture. 
you add those cameras in the secondary timelines going from four, three, two, one, all the way up. You don't put anything in your main timeline. You use your main timeline as a guide or to set up the amount of space um, for your clips. I hope this helps someone. Um, if you have any questions, let me know and I can I will answer them in the comments. And if I can't, I'll just make another video uh, more detailed to show. But I wanted to see how fast I could get this done. Hope this helps everybody. Multicam editing and LumaFusion, the free version. Remember, you got this from Majestic Studios. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow and that makes us able to keep getting good content out to help you guys. Have a great day. Take care.